Yeah. 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 Come up there. I want Jamaica you now. We can walk come any uptown community. Mm. We can walk go anywhere in Jamaica where ancestors them used to walk through the hills them from St. Thomas or Montego Bay. So we can walk go anywhere. We want to say, we don't want to walk come on the gate, come turn up and ball. I make you see how belly pain really feel. I want to see some woman uptown with have powers to come and use up the social media space and talk on behalf of mothers like. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. So on February 9th, Donnelly's mother, Sophia Lug, attended the court. For those who don't know, her daughter, Donnelly Donaldson, left her home and she has not been seen since and she left with noel maitland allegedly right and she has not been seen since since she left um her mom's home she has not been seen fast forward he was charged for her taking out and in, and now he's in court answering to those charges so the mom came out of course to the court on February the 9th and it was put off again until June the 12th. So Queen Ifrika made an appearance down by the court, of course, to support Donnelly's mom. She was, you know, lending her support. It is so nice when women come out and hold each other's hand just to give each other a hug because she needed that, right? You're faced with these challenges. Your daughter is missing and everyone is telling you that your daughter is no longer with us and you have to face the person accused of you know, her disappearance in court. You know, multiply that with a lot of things going on with her health and everything else. She's just really fragile right now. Of course, we're praying for her strength, right? And other women, I was so proud to see other women coming out to support Miss Sophia Log. Of course, Andre Stevens was there as well, right? Queen Africa, as you see, she said um, that, you know, and is so silent and she is waiting for the member of parliament um, to come out and say something. You know, she mentioned Juliet Cuthbert and she mentioned, of course, Juliet, the Prime Minister's wife, she's a member of Parliament as well. So two member of Parliaments and a, and then a tweet went out right after Queen Africa said they should be, you know, speaking up on behalf of the women because women are going through so much. You know, the women are being taken and facing all types of abuse daily from the men in Jamaica, right? So she implored them to come out and support the woman at least you know say something in their support and whatnot so a couple of days after a tweet went out and this is from the member of parliament juliet cutbert and as you can see the tweet was saying that you know it's their time to step up and it wasn't a friendly tweet right so and to know that this lady has lost her daughter and she's going through so much. It is an extremely traumatic event to know that you had a healthy daughter. Nothing was wrong with her. She left your home and then no one can give account for her whereabouts, right? Her, her property, like her personal belongings and all of that, you're seeing that every day. You're seeing where she laid her head. You're seeing, you know, her slippers or a bathrobe or something that belonged to her. And it just triggers your emotion all over again. So you have to just give some support. Uh, if the member of parliament um, made that decision to send out a tweet like that, I don't think it was the right thing to do. I really don't. If her women are suffering and these women, the grassroots women, women in lower um, income bracket or middle income bracket, they're the ones, majority would be in the low income. They're the ones who are supporting Miss Lug. They're the ones who make something out of nothing. How can you call these women weak? I don't understand. Um, they come home every day with a few dollars and they have to feed their children. They have to send their kids to school. They have to hustle. 
They have to sell. They have to do whatever it takes to provide for their children and their family. They are running their own little business. They are making plans for the children. They are eking out a living literally with their hands. How can you call these women weak? These women have to go to bed and hear, many of them, hear S-H-O-T at night. A lot of them are under their beds at night. A lot of them are up at night when they hear sounds, right? Many of them not able to even protect their family, but they do what they can. Many of them are faced with a lot of turmoil and a lot of violence on on a day-to-day basis. And they have to struggle through these challenges daily. Not to mention the aggressiveness, of course, that they face as women from the other sex. Right now, we have a lot of people being found all over the place. People are being found on the roadside, um, near rivers, bushes, you know, culverts, all of that, right? Most of them females. So you're telling me that these women are weak. No, they're not weak. They're some of the strongest women right now. They're resilient, especially the women from the lower socioeconomic background, right? They have to go out there every day and literally scratch with their hands and find their meal, find this, find that. Just the things that you take for granted, they have to hustle to get clothes for their kids, school books, laptops, everything that the child needs, they have to hustle to get that because minimum wage, as you know, is 9,000. And someone told me, that even though the government set the minimum wage at 9000 a lot of people are being paid less than the minimum wage. So these people you are calling weak, these women are strong. The other day, a friend told me that they left to go to the market to buy crabs to boil and, of course, to sell, right, on the roadside. So it was about three or four of them that went downtown early in the morning And they were held up at knife point. One lady was hesitant because she had to borrow that 4,000 to come to buy the crabs. And she was like, this guy's going to take the last penny from me. And she wasn't handing over the money quickly enough. And the guy sliced her hand. These are the people that you're telling me are weak. No, they're not weak. These are the resilient bunch that goes out and clean people floors, sell in the market, sell on the street side from sun up to sun down, hustling. Sometimes they come home, they're so tired of them, still have to turn around after doing a long day out on the street or in people's homes or in the factory's home to cook and clean again. They come home to do, to do their cooking and cleaning another shift. They are not weak. They need your support. They need someone to stand by them. Many of them, if you hear their stories, these are not women that are weak. Listen to them and do a round table talk and let them tell you what they've been through since birth till now. These women are not weak. Every single day, they have to go without this or go without that. And they have to turn their hands, right? And just make do. They do the most with the least. They're not weak. It would be nice if they'd come out and said something like, we hear you, we support you, and so on. You know, something more comforting, especially for Miss Sophia Lug. Offer a word of comfort. Thanks for joining me on this video. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Take care of yourself and others. Bye for now.